Meanwhile, a delegation from the U.S. led by President Trump's daughter and White House advisor Ivanka Trump, her husband Jared Kushner, and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin has arrived in Israel. The officials are set to attend the opening ceremony of the new U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem. An interim embassy will open inside an existing American consulate building in Jerusalem on Monday. A larger site will be established later to complete the relocation from Tel Aviv. President Trump's decision late last year to recognize Jerusalem as the Israeli capital deviated from decades of U.S. policy. The U.S. delegation was greeted by the Israeli government. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas says Washington can no longer be seen as an honest broker in peace talks with Israel. Well, Yasa Hakim is keeping tabs on that story for us. He's joining me now live from Cairo. Yasa, we understand Hamas leader Ismail Haniya has traveled to Cairo. What more do we know about this? Yes, he's been in Cairo this morning and, and he, he had three uh, of main issues uh, to discuss with the Egyptian side. He met with the head of the intelligence services, uh, Abbas Kamil, and uh, uh, one of them obviously is the coordination in the security situation over the borders between uh, Rafah, Gaza and, and Egypt. Uh, obviously, the Rafah border crossing is being uh, controlled from both sides by Palestinian forces and by the Egyptians. Uh, the, other, uh, the other part is also uh, coordinating uh, to uh, uh, reject or to stop the infiltration of militants from the borders uh, and the, uh, the, from the Gaza side into Egypt, uh, something that has been an ongoing issue before. And finally, obviously, the, the, election, the, the, the developments concerning the uh, Jerusalem uh, embassy in Jerusalem, the U.S. embassy in Jerusalem, and the impact of that we expected to have uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, instabilities in the next uh, few uh, days and weeks, especially on the borders, uh, with demonstrations expected, and obviously trying to, to work together on trying to secure the area as, uh, as, good, as well as possible uh, is an important aspect at this point. Yes, of course, some tense moment there from Palestinian territories ahead of Monday's uh, event. But there are fears that the opening of America's embassy in Jerusalem could escalate regional tensions as well. What should we expect on Monday? Yes, it might be a heated day, and not just on, in the Palestinian land uh, uh, and the occupied territories, uh, but also maybe in several Arab countries, maybe in Egypt as well. Uh, we might find some uh, demonstrations uh, in different areas uh, against the U.S. Uh, decision to move uh, its embassy uh, into Jerusalem. Uh, it's also marking the Nakba day or the day uh, the Palestinians lost their land uh, occupied by Israel and this is also its commemoration uh, and usually there are uh, uh, demonstrations in many countries uh, in the Arab world uh, not just in the Palestinian territories uh, and as well as uh, statements by uh, different leaders from different countries uh, trying to support the Palestinian cause. Uh, we also expect a, a, an urgent session by the Arab League uh, here in Cairo uh, tomorrow uh, to also discuss the latest developments in the Palestinian land and to commemorate the Nakba Day uh, and also to, to show uh, support to the Palestinian leadership uh, in this ordeal. All right, uh, Yasser Hakim joining us there from Cairo with that update.